in my previous video I said I was going to talk about stem cell niche and so I'm going to talk about it now so this is the stem cell niche so in the stem cell niche is just like the housing for the stem cell you have a stem cell right here and the surrounding cells you know become acts differently so these are the surrounding cells pretend the center cell is the stem cell I know these aren't good pictures I don't have the luxuries of uh, Salman Khan with his little tablet writing pad uh, but okay so pretend this is the cell niche stem cell the outside layer and the inside is the stem cell so then you have then you have all of these other cells surrounding it and pretend these are all just body cells uh, we could use um, let's say we could use say maybe skin cells let's pretend these are skin cells around and the, the thing right here within this within the cell or the dish is a skin stem cell so it will replicate replicate to become new skin cells so what happens is the niche protects the stem cell. It's like the house. You do not want the stem cell to be touching the stem, the, the skin cells. Otherwise, it would start randomly, massively re replicating like crazy. So, for the stem cell in the center, everything it hears from the outside world would be communicated through its niche. And so, signals would be coming out from. Oh, let me get this brush. It would be coming from the the skin cell on the outside and then when when different when enough uh, special signals are passed through it then the niche is going to communicate that to the stem cell and the stem cell might be released to replicate or to fix a broken area like a cut and stuff like that so um, okay so there's different types of signals and they've actually given names to these signals uh, I'll just name a few for blood stem cells this uh, some of the signals are CX um, CL12 and SCF uh, then there's muscle stem cells um, some of them are notch and WNT um, these will be out I'll have to go through the notch and WNT signaling pathways later because those are two really, really important uh, pathways in muscle stem cell signaling. And also, the, the study of aging, this is just the basics of how the stem cell niche works. But a lot of times when we age, it is that this, there's nothing wrong with the stem cell itself, but the overall condition of the body has deteriorated so the community so the signals that sent to the niche isn't in homeostasis so when it sends the signal from the niche to the stem cell then the stem cell doesn't necessarily react on time or it doesn't not uh it doesn't function as well as it's supposed to and that's usually because the environment is not working well so when he's transplanted the stem cell into um, adult or to young younger patients with healthier bodies then the stem cell works um, just as well as it used to. So that is how the niche works. 